it's Michelle Renee with Tell It Like It Is Tarot. And I've got a really good book here, Robert Wang, Perfect Tarot Divination. A lot of people wonder how accurate are the readings, especially when it's concerning divining. On page 17 in the specificity in readings, if there is general criticism of all forms of divination, it is what might be called the fortune cookie syndrome. Specifics come from experience. Understanding when the tower refers to an active sport and when it refers to a dreadful accident eventually develops. But no matter how experienced or inexperienced a reader may be, the common denominator is a belief that tarot readings involve something psychic that cannot be measured empirically. The bottom line is a reader's fearless willingness to blurt out something ridiculous, stupid, and absolutely wrong. There is a mechanism here which some have described as getting the personality out of the way and allowing an other to come through. And that's what I have found when it comes to tarot, the willingness to allow other to come through. So I'm using the Druidic Tarot, a beautiful set of cards. And the first card I pulled is the Lord. This is actually the Emperor. The second card I pulled is in reversed. However, you'll see it forward, King of Pentacles. Very interesting. The next card I pulled is reversed, Queen of Cups. And the last card, always a beautiful card in the deck, is the Strength card, number eight. Very interesting. So if we look at the Lord, the Lord, the Emperor, he cares for his kingdom. He wants to make sure that it is thriving and that it's under peaceful rule. Usually when we look at the, um, the personality type of the Emperor, that it was specifically to be ruling in peace and everyone is taken care of. However, in order to do so, we have to let go of the ego. And when it came up reverse, that's what it, it definitely was sharing. However, someone might say, well, we might let go of the ego, but what about the emotional stuff that triggers some of that ego? That's gotta go too. The Queen of Cups, the the emotions, the the over um, the over stimulating emotional stuff has to be let go. Now, it's okay to feel. However, the emotional tug of war and triggering of uh, of issues is what needs to die down so that the ego doesn't flare up, right? And in doing so, it, it does take some courage, courage to work through some of those testier moments so that the kingdom or so that what you're doing can be peaceful, so that what you're creating is good. Well, that's today's tarot reading. Thank you for joining me. We have our tarot class tonight. I'm so excited. So if you would like to join in, uh, we have a couple of last minute um, activities for people to join in if they would like to jump in and take our class. It's a $49.99, $49.99 class. And it's so exciting. Uh, this uh, Beginner's Tarot is a three month subscription. Would love to have you there. Thank you so very much for joining me along the way. This is Michelle Renee, and I'll see you again. Ashe.